Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to get the GA30 firing away. I want you to subscribe. So today I want to just get Lightburn set up as well as get EasyCAD set up so we can try to start figuring those out and we're going to start with Lightburn. So I have already uh, upgraded the license to the Galvo unit and just so you guys know when you're looking at that uh, Galvo's not, it's not gonna say fiber it's gonna say Galvo and the reason is because you can have a fiber or a co2 Galvo laser and what the Galvo is is it we're just looking here right this is a stationary lens it's not gonna move around like the head does in the co2 on the gantry so Galvo is what you're gonna have if you're laser head does not move around. So it can be a CO2, it could be a fiber, a couple of things, and uh, so we're gonna get it in Lightburn. We do have it hooked up, we've got the laser on, so we're gonna go ahead and do the Find My Laser and let's see what it gets. All right, so it does a JCZ fiber, Galvo, USB, 110 by 110, so all of that's correct. We are going to add that. Okay, so here's what it wants us to do. Import EasyCAD config, okay. Select the correct mark CFG file. It's typically mark CFG7. Okay, so we've got EasyCAD USB plugged in. So what we want to do is we want to import. We will go to the USB. We've got EasyCAD plug. All right, so there we go. We've got both zero and seven. We're gonna go with seven like it says. And we will open that and hit next. Oh, it's importing it. All right, there we go. And I am going to name it right, Montport GA30. I'm going to leave this here so we know it's fiber and everything. 175, 175, that is correct. Alright, so we've got the right laser there. And we can hit OK. We will change to that laser, and now we should have the correct settings in here now let's take a look let's just go ahead and add in uh, some typing we'll just go with our normal logo and that is going to be boom Take a look. Okay, so we do have an extra line showing that is frequency. We've got speed, power, and I believe we are missing one that is uh, specific for the MOPA. So let's take a second here. All right, so it's, it's missing the Q pulse, uh, which is a big thing that uh, MOPAs can do and they can get pretty in-depth in that. So what it is where we're missing it is we can go to edit, then we can go to device settings, and then on your second page, ports and lasers, you can enable Q-Pulse width setting right there. So we will go okay. Then when we open it up, we now have Q-Pulse, which is in uh, NS, nanoseconds. So that's the pulsing, how long the power is pulsing. And that is how you can get uh, different colors with the MOPA, is by controlling that. So I'm turning it on. We're not really gonna mess with it right now, but I did want to turn it on. And now what I want to do is uh, see what happens when we burn this. So I'm gonna speed this way up because that's, not near enough. Let's go to a thousand. And we don't need 70%, so let's drop it down to uh, I don't know, let's let's try 30%. Right? So and we'll leave frequency and Q pulse alone. That's something we're gonna have to learn what settings look good where. And we do not need five passes, so let's do one. 
One global pass, one number of passes. We will hit OK. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to burn that and we don't want to line it. Let's preview that. Now nah, I don't, I don't want to line. Let's do a fill. So this will just do the whole thing. Hopefully it'll turn out nice and black. Preview. Boom. Looks very different than the other one. Not sure if that's because we're not doing enough lines per inch or what it is, but we will figure that out as well. Let's just um, see if it works. First thing, do not forget to take off your lens cover. Won't do any good with that on. And then uh, we're just gonna do one of the cards that it came with. Um, see what it looks like. Very, we can hit autofocus on this. It's gonna drop down, focus on that piece, and then set the height where it needs to be. And then back in light burn like normal, we can frame. Okay, this is new. Framing options now. We've got bounds. We've got hole and we've got contour. Looks like it's too high, so let's drop that down first. Now let's frame it. All right, it's in the middle of it now. So contour does the outline of the actual burn. Okay, hole, so that's its largest diameters. And bounds is just a rectangle around it. So yeah, I definitely want contour. So that shows us exactly where it's at. Let's edge that over just a bit. And then it looks like right here from light burn, we just hit start and uh, we'll see what it looks like. Okay, that was incredibly fast. Looks like it's just burning through the outside layer a bit. Let's run it again and see what it looks like. Well, that looks like it took all of the black off and that looks really good. Let's close that. Let's take a look and see what that looks like. Oh, that looks great. Right? Feels super smooth. Yeah, not very hot to the touch. That's good. All right. So that's how easy it's going to be with Lightburn. Um, very similar to any other laser in Lightburn, uh, except the framing slightly different, and you can hit start from the frame. Um, and then it's just learning the different settings, which we will definitely have to play with a lot because we want to see how it'll do colors, uh, but this is a awesome starting point. So let's see if we can figure out EasyCAD as well. All right, USB file uh, that comes with the laser is opened up. It, you've got two folders and then two zipped files. They're the same thing, so I don't know if it matters one to the other, but we are going in EasyCAD 2. We launched that. Okay, so first off it failed to open LMC driver. Actually, that other folder was uh, drivers, so maybe we'll need that. But yeah, there's no connections. Looks like nothing is... Those are your regular settings. But nothing here for marking or anything on the laser. Alright, so here's what I found. The driver for Lightburn is not the same driver for EasyCAD. And if you've got the Lightburn driver on there, you can't get it to update to the EasyCAD ones as their older drivers. So you actually have to uninstall it, and then you cycle your machine on and off, and then you can go back in and it'll pop up in your devices and you can update it if you need to, or if you've got the right one in there, you'll be able to jump straight to it. Um, so yeah, that's a pain and We'll probably do a little bit back and forth, but we typically use Lightburn, so that's what we'll go to after uh, we test out CAD a little bit. But So now it loads up. There's not a driver issue. Everything is selectable in your 
uh, light F1, Mark 1, you can do the contour. Uh, your parameter is up. Now this is the parameter of the laser that you have, so you would need to go in and get your field setting, your Galva 1, Galva 2. That flips if it's your X or your Y, so everything could be upside down. Um, that'll be dependent on the different lasers. Your hurt range, everything there, just uh, like that. Uh, JPT, that's all correct. So everything looks right at this point in time now. So we're going to do the exact same thing we did before. I'm just going to drop some text in there and we are going to see what it looks like. Make that quite a bit bigger. And down here, after we've got it typed in, so down here we can do show contour and then light. And that should, it's much harder to see on this one, but you can see that it does have where it's at. So it's a little higher than I want it. I'm gonna drop it down a bit. Stop. So now we want to figure out the speed, a thousand, that's what we did. So that use default parameters, you have to uncheck to be able to change it. We had 30% power, we're going to leave frequency at 20, not 100% sure on that one. The rest of them should be fine. We've got it set up, let's uh, run it. All right, I figured out what I messed up. Um, up here, when I was clicking on it to set parameters, I accidentally turned it, the layer off. Like that. So it grayed it out, you can no longer select it. So I turned that back on, I'm gonna fix the settings again where we had it. To 30. We can then again, Yep, it is laid out correctly. And we should be able to click Mark now. And we've got Mark selected. All right, let's hit that. Okay, it marked it uh, and it just did the outline. So that's definitely not what we want. Looking through, here's what the settings of what it looks like. So you can set uh, this little H button under the text and then you can make changes in here. That looks like it's gonna make it black. We haven't moved it, so it's in the same spot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and run it again and see what it does. All right, definitely needs another pass, which light burned in as well. So let's go ahead and hit it again. All right, now let's uh, look at the difference from side to side. So this is the same, oh, I like how they did that. That's kind of a built-in uh, part when I hit that hatch. Oh yeah, it does show it here. So it wouldn't burn any of the overlap, that's neat. That is very good. I mean, the size is a little different. It looks like the built-in lines per inch are gonna be better in EasyCAD, so we'll have to dial that in. because so you can see the stair stepping here. But both of them did a really good job on how far in they got. Uh, but yeah, I mean, EasyCAD looks great. It's definitely not as easy to run as Lightburn. So once we figure out all of those settings and get it to match, um, hopefully Lightburn will look every bit as good. But yeah, I mean, both are great options to start with. And uh, we'll continue doing different things on this laser. If you want to see anything, uh, definitely uh, throw a comment down uh, below and uh, like and subscribe our video. 
Remember, there's always sales going on on Montport, uh, so jump in there when they're doing that, and don't forget our discount code that is in the description below. We'll see you next video, guys. Thanks.